Hey guys, this is an introductory video of Stylewind. What is Stylewind? In simple terms, Stylewind allows you to use Tailwind class names into styled components. In this video, we will be seeing how to use Stylewind, what are the benefits, what are the cons and how Stylewind will look in the future. First, let's start with going around the docs, then we will get on to some coding. As I have already told you, Stylewind is nothing but a CSS and JS library which is built on top of styled components. Before we get on to further details, there are two things you need to be aware of. One, you need to have a basic understand of what styled components is. Two, this is not mandatory but good to have. Uh, it will be great if you have some idea about the class names used in Tailwind CSS because we are going to replicate exactly the same names here. So it will make you get more faster than it. Moving on to the sample component, there are two ways of using Stylewind, like there are two syntax. It's just a regular styled component with few things extra. Either you start with a dot and write the class name, the Tailwind class name, so the corresponding style will be applied automatically. Or if you, if you feel so odd in using a dot notation here, you always have a fallback uh, syntax which starts with Swind. This is an alternate syntax. Both are going to work exactly the same and it's up to the user to decide. If you know the power of Tailwind CSS, it helps us handle things like hover, uh, responsiveness, everything so smooth. Hold on for a few more minutes. When we start coding, I'll show you a live demo on how to use all these class names. Let's talk about the motivation why we built this library. Style component is one of the most favorite or most used tool in the React ecosystem. And on the other side, Tailwind have been gaining so much momentum in recent days because of its uh, simplicity to use and the uh, speed of development we get when using it. However, when we use Tailwind, maybe it's good with Vue.js but using it with React, it leads us to class name hell. Like there are a lot of class names listed and it affects readability. So we thought, why not combine best of both the worlds and create Tailwind? What are the features you get in Tailwind? Zero CSS, you don't have to write any CSS at all. You can always use all the class names and we have an option to extend colors, padding, margin, everything. So all you have to do is extend the base configuration, but you don't have to write any CSS at all. Like Tailwind, it supports responsiveness out of the box, but also it supports custom styling like styled components, best of both the worlds. It also has other advantages like it avoids uh, conflicts within the class names, uh, like it automatically takes critical CSS. Uh, maintaining of CSS is also very easy because it's uh, specific to a single component. And more than everything, just because Stylewind is a combination of concepts from Styled Component and Tailwind, it doesn't mean we are using Styled Component and Tailwind together. Tailwind uses Styled Component as its base but doesn't depend on Tailwind CSS. We just use the naming convention and class names from tail, Tailwind CSS, but everything is being generated within our library. Like we don't need Tailwind CSS at all. Currently, Tailwind is still in beta, not because it's still not ready to be used in production, but because of other reasons. If you're dare enough, you can already start using it in production as well. We have a clear roadmap on what to, how to take the product forward. And few things in the roadmap includes autocomplete feature, syntax highlighting, and a major thing in the roadmap or the major uh, uh, milestone we are looking at is React Native support. Tailwind doesn't support React Native. So we want to extend the comfort of using Tailwind with React Native as well using Tailwind. Also, we are planning to add support for animations and the CLI which will help you to configure and customize all the classes. Of course, there will be always an optimization in the library. We are focusing on reducing the build size or the bundle size and uh, trying to have multiple versions like one, you, one which works in the runtime and one which is zero runtime and we are looking for all such possibilities. Of course, we are looking for contributors and we are also looking for suggestions. All, feel free to DM us. Like anything else in the world, we also have some negatives. Few of the cons will be solved when we achieve our roadmap or when we complete our to-do list. One thing is React Native support is not added still. It doesn't mean that it will not work with React Native at the moment. It still works with React Native, but not all the classes supports. And as I said, we don't have any support for animations yet. We are still 
to work on keyframes and all the stuff. Currently, we don't have a CLA for customing the themes. We have it only within index.html where we can extend the themes. Also, if you are currently using style components and if you are planning to migrate it to style wind, it's going to be very simple. Just follow our migration guide, install style wind. Wherever you are importing styled from styled components, just find all and replace all like import styled from styled wind. That's it. Your complete application should work right now out of the box. And also in the further developments, you can start using Tailwind class names within your style components. Now let's see some code. So here I have bootstrapped a, a new application using uh, create react app. Uh, I'll be creating a button component and displaying it using Stylewind. Let me delete all this off first. Remove my logo. Remove my CSS. The first step is to import. Import styled from styled win. Next, let me create my component. Const styled button equal to styled dot. We have TypeScript support as well. You can see here styled dot button. As of now, I will not have any styles inside and let's see a plain button right now. So I will call my style button here. Click me. If you see in the right side, I have a very plain button which tells click me. Now let's go ahead and use Tailwind to add styles to this button. Um, let me say the background color should be red. All I have to do is dot bg hyphen bg stands for background, red stands for the color and the contrast value can be like 600 semicolon save. If you see my color got updated to red. Next, let me make the text color to white. Text white. If you see, my text became white. As a next step, let's add some margin and padding. Margin, M for margin, left, L for left, and maybe 10, and save. You see, you saw my button moving towards the right, right? Same way we can have add for top. Please note that all these values are calculated in terms of REM. Okay, let's go for some short end properties. Say now let me apply padding of 5 on all sides. So padding, just padding P hyphen 5, save. Ooh, the button is too big. I just want it to be broad and not this tall. So what I'll do, my Y axis, I'll make it as 2. Padding Y axis 2 and padding X axis 5. Perfect. This is the size I wanted. If you see here, I can go click the button, but nothing happens, right? So let me add some uh, hover effect dot hover colon let me uh, change my background color to blue on hover now if you see on hover the button turns blue perfect now we are able to write our css next let's make it responsive for demo purpose, let's make the background of the button yellow for larger screens and let it remain red for smaller and uh, very small screens. So for larger screens, I have LG colon BG hyphen yellow. Let me go for a darker shade. 
and save it. Now if you see the button remains red but when I extend the size it turned yellow. Did you see it? Uh, since it's not a brighter color let me reduce the contrast to 400. So if you see here my button background is yellow for a larger screen and when I reduce it it becomes red. This way, we have leveraged all the power of Tailwind within styled components. And also, let me show you a quick demo on the alternate uh, syntax. Few people might not be interested in using dots, right? Like, it looks so odd. Uh, so, we also provide something which looks similar to other uh, CSS. You can use a keyword called Swind and tell us now let me make text black or let me make text to blue and contrast can be 800. If you see here my text became blue. This works perfectly same as the above with only one exception of a different syntax. This is the power and beauty of Stalewind and once you get hold of the class names you are going to build beautiful applications very quickly with low maintenance. The link for the docs and the repo is in the description. We are currently accepting stars on GitHub repo, contributions and suggestions. So feel free to open issues, rise PRs, keep stars on GitHub and thanks a lot for watching the video.